Students on alert tonight at the University of Kansas, and it comes after a man groped a female student in broad daylight this morning in the middle of campus. New here at 10, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall uncovered the recent spike in sex crimes at KU. Yeah, Krista, that's right. The man actually grabbed that woman right outside of Wesco Hall, which is here in the middle, right in the heart of the KU campus. And this marks the fourth sexual battery in the last four days. It happened this morning, just after 10. We got an email, it's just like sent out, it was like a campus email, and it just said that there was like sexual assault or something on campus. I wasn't really like shocked as much as like we should be, which is kind of sad because it's like a big deal. Outside Wesco Hall, a female student was a victim of sexual battery. She was walking next to a white male. The white male reached around and grabbed her in the groin area. This is off Jayhawk Boulevard, which runs right in the middle of the KU campus. Wesco is like probably like the busiest spot like on campus probably. I think I go by there like every day. The thing is, it didn't happen in front of Wesco Hall. It happened as she was walking here behind the building where the loading docks are. I'm glad the girl reported it. The woman went to her car and called campus police, and she's not alone. On the KU campus, in the last two years, we've had uh, three reported on the average. Uh, this year so far, we've had two in a week. Sunday night, Jayhawk cornerback Eric Rivers was arrested for sexual battery. He was released from the team Monday, marking a troubling start to 2016. On all our crime statistics, our violent crime usually stays in the 1% area. Now, campus police urging everyone to walk together and stay alert. But you don't think at 10 a.m. you need to, like, do the buddy system? Yeah. But Guess you do. Campus police say that the woman, again, did report, and she's doing as well as can be expected tonight. She's all right. As for that suspect, no identity or arrest yet in this case. Reporting live in Lawrence tonight, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.